Hey guys, welcome back to Robo. Hope you guys are doing well, staying safe. And today, this is a project video, and we're gonna teach you how to make a door lock actuator system, a smart door lock actuator system. It has all the bells and whistles in it, an RFID scanner, a keypad, an LCD, everything. And we're gonna tell you how to make it, so stay tuned. So the way this project operates is that you have to scan your RFID tag, enter your password and then the door lock automatically opens and then you get inside your room. Also PS, this project that we are showing you today is not like a full-fledged proper project, this is a prototype. So this is like we're showing you the way that this project can be done in this direction also. And it's on you, you can add your flavors, you can add your components, you can remove your components and take this project into the direction that you want to take it. Probably you don't want the RFID tag, you can just remove the RFID tag, just keep on the numpad. If you don't want the numpad, remove the RFID tag. So it's all on you, this is just the prototype, we're showing you a direction of sorts. Like hey, this project can be done this way, so if you want, you can do it this way. Also this is a great project to get into like the MB embedded world of uh, projects, if I may say, because there are a lot of components that you're working with, because you're working with an LCD, an RFID tag scanner, a keypad, you're working mainly with an Arduino. If I didn't mention before, this project is entirely powered by an Arduino. The main heart of this project is an Arduino. And specifically, the module that we are using is an Arduino Mega. The reason why we're using a Mega in this thing is because there are a lot of components that we're working with, like an LCD, RFID, and the keypad, as I mentioned before. And there are more than eight pin connectors of sorts. So the board needed a bit more GPIO pins, and the Arduino Mega had like a bunch of GPIO pins, so we used that instead. Anyways, let's get ahead with how this project works and what components mainly that we are showing you today are are to be used. So the first component that we're using is an RFID tag scanner and RFID tags to scan on the scanner. We're using a 16 by 2 LCD display and the keypad that we are using in this video is a 4 by 4 keypad. We suggest you to use a 4 by 3 because there are 1 to 9 keys available in the 4 by 3 one and the 4 by 4 it just gets a little bit more complicated and everything of that sort. So just use a 4 by 3 it's easier and mainly you need an Arduino. The one we are using is a Mega and you need breadboards and jumper cables and all of that sort. So as I mentioned before, the way this project works is that you scan your RFID tag. The LCD says, okay, this tag is accepted. So then you go ahead, put in your password and if the password is right, the door unlocks and you can get in. And if any one of the before steps are not, because if you use a different tag or you enter the wrong password, you can't get it. So if you scan like a different tag, you won't be able to enter the password. And if you scan the right tag, but enter the wrong password, still the door won't open. So this is the main circuit diagram of how the things are connected in our circuit. You can check it out. If you want a JPEG of this thing, let us know. We'll pin it down in the description or you can either just take a screenshot. Also a quick tip, if you're working with new components like the RFID or like the keypad, just connect those to the Arduino and download their libraries. Just type its name in Google, get its library, download it and use an example code and see how this basic working is. So what happens is that you get a rough idea of the code and the components working as well. So what you can do is check one component, understand how it's working and everything. You remove that and put in another component and do the same thing. Download its library, use an example code of that and just check how it's working, understand the working of that component. So what happens is now that you know the working of component one and component two, you can merge together, like connect them on the Arduino or whatever developer board that you are using and then use them cohesively. So that just makes it easier for you to understand new components as well. And it just opens a world of ideas and how to use what you can add, what you can remove, how to make this project easier, how to make it more complicated, everything of that sort. And that is how this project and this prototype works. You can just add your flavor to it, add, remove components, add components, everything of that sort. You can also do another thing. You can remove the RFID and the keypad and use them with your Google Assistant. If you don't know how to do that, we made an entire video on home automation using the Blink app and the ASP8266 module and everything. The link will be right here. You can check that out. So what you can do is merge that project and this one into a project and just have fun with it. And that was it. Thank you so much for watching. Check the description, by the way, all the libraries and everything that you need to make this project the way we have made it is available in the description. Check it out. And also, if you like this video and if you like this project idea, just leave it a like and share it with your friends. Let them know how to make this project. 
and comment down below what other type of projects would you want us to make and also subscribe if you already have and we're coming up with a lot of new videos and some exciting things for you to look forward to and that's it thank you so much for watching we'll see you next time